Today we're talking about kit cars, AKA vehicles you gotta build yourself. I understand when most people think of kit cars, they probably imagine a weird Lamborghini lookalike with bad proportions on top of a VW Beetle chassis. But it turns out there are a lot of pretty sick DIY kit cars out there. And today we are gonna talk about the coolest ones. Cause you know what? I like cars and so do a bunch of my friends. So we make car videos for a living. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we need if we're doing a good job. I'm James and this is the D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-
Kuntashi, something a little bit more um, um, Testarossa-y. Well, this next one will give you all those exotic looks without the exotic price tag. And all you need is a Pontiac Fiero. Aldino K.O. The Aldino K.O. kit will transform any year Pontiac Fiero into this. Why would you want to turn your Fiero into a fake Ferrari Pantera Lamborghini machine? Well, because driving ridiculous cars is almost as much fun as pissing off Ferrari owners. That's why Fieros are famous for being turned into kit cars, and that's for a really good reason. They're dirt cheap, the body can be replaced easily, they light on fire pretty easily, and they're already mid-engine. In fact, here is a Fiero that we found on Greg's list that has kit car candidate in the title. There might be more Fiero kit cars in the world than actual Fieros at this point. Unlike the exoskeleton kits that we talked about, most of the work with the Aldino involves stripping the Fiero's exterior and replacing it with all the fiberglass parts. It's supposed to take 150 hours to build and cost around 10 grand. I would be hard pressed to find a funnier $10,000 joke. This next car doesn't look like a car at all. It looks like a Disneyland freaking monorail, baby. Car Factory ETV. Car Factory ETV, or extraterrestrial vehicle, is a blob-shaped coupe with going doors, massive intake vents, and absolutely no rear view side mirrors. Okay? Because in the future, you don't look to the past. And apparently, it's street legal in Florida because everything is. So what car is this thing even based on? Some kind of mid-engine thing? Something fast? Wrong. Dead wrong, cowboy. This spaceship is actually a Chevy Aveo underneath. According to the inventor who invented this invention, a complete build will cost you right around $20,000. So if you live in Florida and have $20,000 burning a hole in your pocket, this could certainly be an option for you. Super light Moab. So you thought kits were only meant for cars, huh? Dead wrong again! Zero for two, wow! Are you okay? This burly boy is made by a company called Superlight who also makes a bunch of supercar looking vehicles, but the Moab is hashtag built different. It's an all out race truck, two inch thick steel cage tubing, 20 inches of wheel travel, LS Powell, baby! The truck is rated to handle 750 Hurspurs, and those are off-road Hurspurs. That's the most sinewy, buffest kind of hearses. If you've never shopped for a trophy truck before, you might not realize that they are very expensive. I'm talking 250 grand, but the Moab kit starts at around $50,000, which yes, is more expensive than some of the other cars on this list. But think about what you're getting for that price. Superlight claims that the build should take around 200 hours to complete. Now we all know that that's the equivalent of watching Paul Blart 133 times. Now let me ask you a question. Would you rather watch Paul Blart 133 more times or would you rather build a 700 horsepower off-road trophy truck? Or would you rather move the TV into the garage, watch Paul Blart 133 more times and build a 700 horsepower trophy truck. That's called a life hack, baby. Ultima Evo. You might recognize this as the weird fast car from Forza. It's a supercar, literally. You can go out and buy one of these from Ultima for $100,000, or you can build your own. And then you can buy one of those bumper stickers that says built not bought, and you can put it right on your rear window, except this thing doesn't even have a rear window because it's a freaking super duper car. Ultima's website says the kit car version of the Evo costs as much as a mundane new BMW M3, which is a weird kind of mean flex. But what does this kit car give you for mundane BMW M3 Monday? Money. Well, let's start with a 1,020 horsepower supercharged LS behind the pit. Thing only weighs 2,000 pounds. That's a half a hearse per per pound. That's a half a hearse per per pound. You have a hearse per per pound. Sure, some of the other cars on this list are fun, but the Ultima is a supercar. It goes zero to 60 in under three seconds. In a car 
that you and your cousin Dale built in your garage in a couple of weekends while drinking Paps Blue Ribbons. That is not a good idea. <laughs> the next car on this list is a replica kit based on a legendary British sports car. You think I'm talking about the Cataram 7? Strike three! Damn, dude, dead wrong again. I'm talking about the RCR XJ13, which is based on the one of one Jaguar XJ13 race car. The Jaguar XJ13 was a racing car developed to compete at Le Mans, but it never raced, and only one of this car was ever produced. You might also notice that I said racing car, not race car, that's because it's British. Although this car had a lot of potential with its five liter V12, Jaguar didn't prioritize the XJ13, and the development of Ford's GT40 quickly made it basically obsolete. It also didn't help that the prototype was crashed and lost forever. But that's where the RCR comes in. No, I'm not talking about regular car reviews. Shouts to those guys. Hi, fellas. I'm talking about race car replicas. Their XJ13 replica is a fiberglass body sitting on a mono chassis. Obviously, it's got the looks of the original Jack. But you get to decide what kind of guts you want to put in it. You can't do that with kids. All for a price tag. Starting around 30 Grand. Just make sure that you measure your legs and butt before building this thing because nothing's worse than spending 400 hours building a car that you can't fit in. Ask me how I know. LB Specialist STR. LB Specialist STR is a replica kit car of one of the most legendary rally cars of all time, the Lancia Stratos. The shortest rally car ever, seriously. An original Stratus cost about $650,000, and LB Specialist STR costs about 5% of that price tag. And you also wouldn't be afraid to drive it. Much like the Stratos, the STR was designed to be fitted with a V6, either from an Alfa Romeo, a Toyota, or a Ferrari. I think I know which one I'd go with, Toyota. I would like to take this moment to point out that Lancia only makes one vehicle today. It's called the Ypsilon. You could drive an Ypsilon or you could drive a brand new Toyota V6 powered rally car. Choice is yours. Shortest rally car ever. Capping off this list, no cap, is a very special kit car. Perhaps the greatest kit car ever. I'm talking about the Shelby Cobra 420 freaking seven. <laughs> Shelby made less than a thousand original Cobras and they're worth like $5 million. But thanks to modern technologies like science, and fabrications, there are a few companies that make their own flavor of Uncle Carol's creation. And I should mention that they're not technically called Cobras for legal reasons, but regardless, these are really sick cars. Factory 5 makes one called the Mark IV Roadster, which they claim is the world's best selling, best engineered, and best performing replica of all time. Factory 5 says they'll sell you a complete kit for $20,000, but I think someone should tell them the definition of complete because you still gotta come up with your own drivetrain, wheels, and paint. Personally, I'd make everybody flip their lids with a Turbo K series, BBSRSs, and Midnight Purple 2 paint from an R34. And unlike some of the other kits on this list, you can still be a tall ass mofo and fit in this bad man pajama. This is a kit car that Shrek would fit in. And for that, this is the king of today's D-list. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the D-list. If you're new here and you liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really want to be better than all the other boys. While you're down there, click that join button. See what this thing called the Donut Underground is all about. If you guys want to learn more about building cars, check out our other series, Money Pit. Uh, and if you want to learn more about Shelby, the God, the dude, check out this episode of my other show, Up to Speed. All right, I love you. Mm -hmm.